Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today the Black Friday sales have started in Marvel Future Fight and they are a mess. So I'm going to go through all of them, try to pick out the ones that are decent uh, and try to steer you clear and have you avoid all of the garbage ones and then give you my final thoughts and try to give the Marvel Future Fight dev team some advice. Now, of course, this may seem counterintuitive because I'm trying to organize and we've been, been trying to sort of maintain a boycott for the better part of a month now. But there are still people who are going to spend money regardless. There are a lot of people who want to spend their crystals. And I want those players to be able to make the best decisions possible for themselves. You know, even if you're not going to participate in the boycott, I'm not going to ignore you. I'm not going to um, not give you advice, right? I still want to give all players advice. Um, am I recommending that you spend money on this game? I don't know. That's really a personal decision you need to make based on how much money you have and what you think of the state of the game, right? If you think the game is in a great position and it's and it's going forward and it's succeeding, maybe you want to spend money on it. If you think the game is crashing and burning, maybe you want to spend money somewhere else. But again, I don't tell you what to do with your money, so let's jump into it. First of all, uh, the secret shop thing, I have to say right off the bat, is absolute garbage. I fell for it once. I, I did this. The very first time it came out, I did the secret shop and I was tricked and trapped into spending over 20,000 crystals. So I spent about $200 worth of crystals. I got a bunch of stuff that I didn't need. I ended up buying things out of desperation, like the Norn stones. Like I seriously ended up buying some of the stuff. It might seem like a good idea, or it might seem like you can game the system into getting all of the good items and still get all of the rewards and only spend 12,000 crystals. That's not how it works. The items will refresh and it will be stuff you don't want and it'll be too expensive. And trust me, the game will screw with you. The timer will screw with you because as you can see, the bingo only lasts for four days. Do not risk it. I repeat, do not spend any crystals here. It is a 100% scam. Next up, we've got the bonus mission. Unfortunately, again, the Marvel Future Fight team, uh, the, the marketing team just decides that they don't know how to market this game properly. So they didn't pay attention and they did not put the mega rank up ticket here. The vast majority of players that I've spoken to, again, I don't have the statistics on all players, but the vast majority of players that I've spoken to and that I've seen uh, talking about the Black Friday sales are very upset that this is not the mega rank up ticket. You guys should have changed it or better yet, if you think you have the right idea, why don't you offer the players the chance to choose? When players spend 10,000 crystals, why don't you let them choose what their final reward is or their, their eighth reward? Maybe if they want this ticket, they can choose it. And if they want a mega rank up ticket, they can choose that. Crazy idea. But do you know that giving your customers, aka your players, giving them choices when they spend their money actually, you know, give, you know, actually has a positive reinforcement and psychologically makes people spend more money because they feel like they're getting more bang for their buck because they can choose what their final reward is. Crazy how that works, but it does work. Moving along here, there's a couple of things I want to talk about that you can't see in the shop. For example, uh, there is a CTP, Comic Card, Obeli or ISO 8, and um, Uru, Odin's Blessings, unequipped cost. So it's 50% off for the next few days. Um, you can see how long it's going to be. If you click on the bar above Null's head, you can click on that bar and you'll see that it's going to be on for another two days. So 50% off unequipping custom gears and CTPs, Comic Cards, Uru, and Odin's Blessings, and ISO 8, I believe as well. ISO 8 is not listed here, but it should be ISO 8 as well. And then 50% off the World Boss Unlock. This is not bad, 50% off, but I've always maintained that, yeah, it's 50% off for the Uru. Is it 50% off for the, it's 50% off for the ISO 8. I've always maintained that this should be free or that this should be grossly reduced in price. 50% off is the best you're gonna get at this point in time, but keep in mind the players are still fighting for uh, a, an even more reduced cost, but yeah. And then 50% off for um, unlocking the world bosses. Honestly, it just saves you time. It's not really a big deal. The future pass. There is a limited time future pass. Now everyone is gonna get access to the basic future pass for free. So you get some, some basic rewards for free, like a six star ticket, yada, yada, yada. That's nice. Um, and then you can purchase the legendary and mythic packs. Now keep in mind, they have not discounted the price of these of these packs. So Legendary still costs $14 Canadian, and Mythic still costs $50 Canadian, um, but it's much shorter. And so in order to make it more valuable in the eyes of the developers or the marketing team, they reduced the number of rewards. Um, this doesn't really make sense, guys. You reduced the amount of time that it takes to do it 
but you didn't reduce the price, but you reduced the rewards. I honestly think that you guys are stupid. I honestly do. How can you reduce the rewards, but keep the price the same? You're really counting on people to buy this for the icon only. At this point, you're almost paying specifically for the icon. And $50 for an icon is pretty steep because they reduced the other rewards and they removed rewards and they added rewards that we didn't ask for like 100 hidden tickets. It's it's bananas. It's absolutely bananas. I don't know how they can do that. So I don't know how they can like logically do that. If anything, you guys should be increasing the rewards. I know you guys are trying to make money, but you can't make money by ripping us off. We're not idiots. So yeah, they should have increased the rewards rather than reducing the rewards. I think personally, both of the passes for this sort of um, in-between season, this mini season, are garbage. I would not buy either of these passes. I think they're garbage. Anyways, moving on to stuff in the store. Most of it is absolute garbage. Now, keep in mind, as per all Black Fridays, when you purchase stuff with real money, let me repeat that. When you purchase stuff with real money, you will get Black Friday tokens. If you don't purchase stuff with real money, you do not get any Black Friday tokens. There's no free tokens. There's no Black Friday token event. There's no Black Friday token farming. You have to spend real money and then you will get real tokens. As you can see, if I spend $140 Canadian, I will get 100 Black Friday tokens. If I spend crystals, I don't get any Black Friday tokens. That's how it goes. Is that how it should be? Probably not. Is that how it is? Yes. You can spend those Black Friday tokens in the Black Friday shop. Now, I don't want to talk too much about the Black Friday shop because it's usually quite overpriced and it's always has been. It's just, it's just, they just don't, don't learn their lesson. They just, they just, that's just how it is. Marvel Future Fight, they just don't learn their lesson. So they didn't have very good Black Friday deals last year. They didn't make a lot of money. So they're like, you know what? We're just going to repeat the same thing again as we did this year. It just, it doesn't make any sense. Why don't you spend $400? Check this out, guys. Why don't you spend $400 getting Black Friday tokens so that you can buy a mega tier two ticket? instead of just spending $50 to get a mega tier two ticket from the future pass. They just, th there's no one there who has a brain, like there's no one that works at Marvel Future Fight for the marketing department that has a brain good enough, or I don't know, he like failed high school, I don't understand. Like you can't even put these two things together. Why would anyone spend 400 tokens to get a mega tier two ticket when they can buy one for $50? 400 tokens equals $400. This is literally one eighth of the price why would anyone do that so you guys are so you guys are stupid okay they're stupid all right awesome uh the real big problem here for this token thing is this right here the ctp the reforge ctp so we're trying to get them to remove certain aspects of the ctp reforging system so they're like okay listen if you spend a thousand dollars in the game we're going to give you a reforged ctp however <laughs> read the fine print ladies and gentlemen there is a chance to get one of the items shown above. So you can spend $1,000 buying other stuff, and then this extra item that you get, it could be the one that you want, which is probably a brilliant regen or a brilliant uh, energy, or you could get this, or you could get this, or you could get this. It's random. After spending $1,000, your gift is random. Whoever is running the sales and the marketing at this game should be fired. You do not know how to do your job. You are garbage at your job. I could do a better job. My mom could do a better job. My dog, Bacon, could do a better job of marketing this game than you are. And could do a better job of making store sales than you are. You're terrible. I hate you. So yeah, that's that's basically Black Friday, guys. There's really not much to say here. There's like one or two good deals. Honestly, I'll tell you guys right now. Um, the the yearly the yearly thingamajig here. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Uh, it might be here, actually. Yes, this one right here. The one year crystal bundle. This is actually a pretty good deal because it's so cheap and because. I mean, okay, it's 15 crystals daily, which is which is very low. But you have to think of the overall value, right? So you buy this for $7 and then you will eventually collect that many crystals. Now you're going to automatically get 300. So you're honestly getting something up front, but it's really just the total amount. It's basically like, it's basically like buying an extra two. Uh, it's basically like buying one Stark Stash and getting one Stark Stash free, except you have to wait for the end of the year to get it. So yeah, I mean, it would be hilarious if the game shuts down before one year. It probably won't, 
there's a very good chance that it won't shut down that quickly but it would be hilarious if it did because of that specifically now honestly besides that there's really very little that's still good in the shop to purchase um, keep in mind if you're going to be gambling for this kind of stuff here uh, it's going to be discounted it's not discounted right now as you can see but it will be discounted if you go over here to this black friday celebration event we have the all the uniforms on sale 50 percent off you have um, crystal purchases that give you extra crystals you have the crystal characters that are discounted and then here we go 40 percent off so it's gonna be 40 percent off starting tomorrow tomorrow the 27th okay so if you're gonna gamble wait this is probably one of the only good things that they actually did this time around for um black friday because last year all of the gambling had to be done on one specific day they only had a discount for one day now the discount is on for four days straight or four or five days straight so that's much better and you can pick and choose what you want to gamble for and you can you know do your gambling more slowly so that you don't get scared of missing out and then you just burn all your crystals in one shot do I recommend that you gamble? No. Do I think that maybe they tweak the rates secretly and they make it worse so that when they discount it, you're still getting the same number of items in the end? Maybe. Am I cynical because they're flushing this game down the toilet with stupid decisions? Yeah, pretty much. Um, they also brought back the danger room characters, but I put the brings back in quotations because they're not here, right? There's, there's no, there's no, uh, danger room pack up here for 4,500 crystals like they're supposed to be instead they're doing this stupid thing where you have to buy the character by the way you don't get all of the other rewards remember there was a bunch of other rewards from the danger room pack like you would get a crystal refund you would get uh, phoenix feathers mcron crystals you would get iso 8 all that stuff is not there anymore you just get a tier 2 professor x and 5 million gold however it costs 8,200 crystals up front and you only get a discount if a thousand people buy it. So if a thousand people buy it, um, you get back 3,700 crystals. So then it costs 4,500. So the sad thing is, this actually costs more than the old crystal packs, the old uh, danger room packs cost. Because the old danger room packs were 4,500 upfront, and then they would give you crystals back. I think you would get like like 875 crystals back or something. So the real cost was actually like 3,000 something, 3,500 or 3,700 crystals. So this is this is wild to me that they're actually charging more and giving you less. Again, charging more and giving you less. On top of that, you're only gonna get that discount if another 725 people or 724 people buy this in the next 24 hours because there's only another, you know, whatever uh, 40 hours left on this bad boy so there's a there's a there's definitely a chance that this does not hit a thousand so i would not purchase this at all i personally wouldn't purchase this at all anyways because instead of spending 4,500 crystals just play danger room you have five chances a day every day to pull professor x and once you pull 10 bios just use a mega rank up ticket and a mega tier two and they're giving us a mega tier two every month with the check with the token events honestly guys i don't really have much else to say about black friday these sales suck honestly i mean this sale actually this sale could be good if they took away the uniform uh, xp chips and they added other stuff this 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 sale is actually not bad um it's not bad in the sense that it's it's tailored towards a very specific upgrade which is what they need to do uh, i hadn't actually seen anybody talk about this one it's not good it's just not you know disgustingly terrible um this one is not bad actually for 8,000 crystals but again they give us a free mega tier 2 ticket now yeah it's not that good either this one again it's not that good if it was like 4,000 crystals or 4,500 it would be better it's not that good this one is a random premium card no yeah the thing is you can get it you can guarantee yourself a random premium card by gambling because every time you gamble you're given premium tokens and then once you get to 600 tokens, you can get a premium card anyways. So if you just took those 6,500 crystals and gambled them, you would get you would get 10 chances, right? You'd get 100 chances because you're opening the box of 10, 10 times. You'd get 100 chances to pull a premium card, plus you'd get that box at the end. You don't get the crafting cubes, but that's only two and a half days of playing GBR. So this is just not good. All these sales are just not good. Sorry, guys. I don't really have anything better to say about this. 
I mean, this one might be good, to be honest, if you just wanted to have a little bit of fun with gambling, spend a little bit of money. This is probably your best bet. And it's not even that great, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's it's a shame. Honestly, guys, it's a shame. This this is this is going to this is going to be a, 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 a serious wake up call for for the devs and for the, the marketing team, because they are not going to make any money this year. And uh, and it's going to show because this plus the boycott uh, is really going to hurt their really going to hurt their bottom line. So honestly, I'm pretty disappointed. I honest, I honestly and seriously and earnestly think that they need a top to bottom reshuffle. I think everybody that's working on the game who is not a character designer needs to go. I think if you're working in marketing, I think if you're working in, you know, any of that stuff, you need to just go. You need to be fired. You need to be replaced. The people who are handling the reward systems, the people who are handling the game modes, the people who are handling the marketing, they are all completely letting this game down. The people who are handling all of the all of the shop sales, you're completely letting this game down and you're doing you're doing a disservice to the players. You guys are in shambles, seriously, in, in shambles. This is garbage. You guys are just completely ruining the game with your stupidity. And you just you just need to go. I, I can't say it another way. So yeah, that's Black Friday. Last but not least, I want to, um, who knows, maybe. Maybe there's a chance that they're watching and they're listening. I want to I wanna give you guys, uh, not you guys, I want to give Marvel Future Fight some, some tips, some ideas. I got some ideas for you guys if you want to monetize this game properly. You took my ideas in the past and you used them well, like the, the the animated icons. I had that idea for a long time and you guys went went crazy with it finally. And I'm sure it's it's had some positive impact on your bottom line. So I've, I've come with new ideas for you guys that might actually work. OK, so check this out. I'm just going to throw these ideas out again. There's going to be some Joe Schmo in the comments who says, don't give them any ideas, Alex. I am going to give them ideas because what they have right now for ideas suck so you know what if they take my ideas instead of their own ideas then we're in a better place because if they want us to spend money they at least have to give us something that's worthwhile right now there's nothing to spend money on do you guys know what happens if no one spends money on a free-to-play game the game shuts down games don't run on rainbows and charity and bunny rabbits they run on cash so i'm gonna you know i'm doing my best here to try to balance everything i'm trying to do what's best for the players and I'm recognizing that they're obviously having a really hard time understanding how to monetize this game properly for the players. So sound off in the comments below. Let me know if you think that my sales ideas are good or if you think that there are other sales ideas that they could do that I haven't touched on. Obviously, like super unrealistic shit like um, I want a million crystals for a dollar like that would obviously not work. But, you know, hear me out. So another custom gear slot. We asked you to you, we asked you to give this to us for free. You didn't want to give it to us for free. Okay. How about we pay a thousand crystals to unlock another custom gear slot? That's per character. That means 200,000 crystals if we want to unlock a CTP slot, an extra CTP slot for all characters. How about you make it double the cost for native tier twos? So for regular characters, like let's say Carnage, it would be a thousand crystals. But then for Dormammu, it would be 2,000 crystals. Okay, you don't like the crystal cost? Charge us money. Maybe you could charge $3 for us to unlock uh, an extra obelisk slot. And then it was, and then maybe for for native tier two characters, it could be $5. I don't really care, but if it's a small denomination like that, players will pay, especially the very competitive players, because they will see 20 or 30 characters that they can unlock an extra slot for, and it's gonna cost them between, you know, 50 and $100, and they will put that money in. They will invest that money because they're getting a permanent upgrade, and it's allowing them to expand the way that they build their roster. That is value that the players can use towards roster progression okay update update updating the shots shop sales is another idea that i've had and this one kind of touches on it we don't have enough sales in the shop that target very specific things it's like they put all of the items in every single pack and they think that that's a good deal it, this is not a buffet we're not looking for a buffet we're looking for selection we want to be able to select different cuts different items in each pack so you should have a pack called like the black antimatter pack and it's just black antimatter there's no crystals because i find that players are so hesitant to purchase packs right they're so hesitant to purchase a pack like oh let's say i need um whatever mandalays or whatever but i don't want to buy this because i don't need the crystals i don't need the crystals because i buy my stark stash because the stark stash is such good value players are hesitant to spend money to buy packs 
so what they can do because they're not going to get rid of the stark stash right they're not going to get rid of this so what they can do is just take the crystals out of the other packs and just sell the items i don't know why they're so scared to do this but take the 2500 crystals out take the uniform upgrade kits out and you can charge maybe 30 dollars for this or 40 dollars players will buy that because it's less money it's a smaller purchase but it still has value because it has a lot of the things that they need. You can do you could do just just a tier two materials pack, right? So for thirty dollars, you get uh, you know a, you get two thousand cast thorn stones and two thousand black antimatter and one more thing, but no crystals and no other goofy shit, no norn stones, no garbage. You could have a tier three pack where you get a thousand of this and a thousand of this and something and maybe five hundred uh, CCF for thirty dollars. Again, people will buy this more than the stuff that you're selling right now having a gold pack where you're just buying a bunch of gold right ten dollars for 10 million gold or for 50 million gold or whatever i i don't know exactly what it would be and maybe not 50 million but like you know five dollars for 10 million gold people will actually buy that instead of this garbage here where you have to spend 30 dollars worth of crystals for six million gold like this just doesn't make any sense at all another thing you guys can do is build your own pack they do this in seven deadly sins grand cross and you know that game makes way more money than marvel future fight build your own pack is very very simple you start off with a base cost let's say 30 dollars, and then you have let's say a thousand crystals and then you build the rest of the pack based on what you want so let's say i really just want tier three materials so i, I it's 30 dollars. i get my thousand crystals and then I can choose on the first step. I can choose one of these three materials and let's say one of these two materials over here. So I just choose uh, type of Titan component packs. And then on step two, I have the same five options again. So I choose Titan component packs again. And then on step three, I have the same five options. I choose Titan component packs again. So I pay my $30. I get my thousand uh, crystals and I get whatever Titan component packs. Somebody else doesn't need the Titan component packs. They need CCF. So they go and they buy the same pack, but instead of selecting this, they select Titan component. They select CCF. Build your own pack. It's a very good idea, and it would make you guys lots of money. Okay, let's try some other ideas. Uniform XP booster. You guys sell boosters for everything else. Why not sell a booster for uniform XP? So if you go over to the boosters, you have XP booster, gold booster, shield booster, antimatter booster, bum booster, eye booster, booby booster, but you don't have uniform XP booster. Why don't you sell a uniform XP booster for $5? And then for the next three days, or the next week, you get double the uniform XP when you're farming missions. Why not have a CTP re-rolling obelisk? So instead of, you know, if, if I want, let's say, I want to improve the stats on this CTP, but I don't want to have the stats go down, okay? You can sell, you could sell me for whatever, you know, five for five dollars, a dollar each, whatever you want. You could sell me special obelisks that I can't use for anything else. I can't equip them. They're like the booster ISO, okay? So we have the booster ISO, it's like this, but imagine it's an obelisk. And all it does is it re-rolls, okay? You re it's like re-rolling like this, right? We're, we're re-rolling the CTP, except the stats won't go down the stats could stay the same so it'll stay at 31.8 and it'll stay at 78.9 or the stats could go up but they would never go down why not sell one of those why not sell an item that can improve the quality of cards you know the quality over there that blue that blue icon why don't you sell something you could sell it like you know whatever uh one for five dollars and you use it it's like a little i don't know it's a little gem or it's a little gun whatever it is and there's a chance it's rng but there's a chance that it's going to improve the card quality it's not going to make the card quality go down but it's either going to stay the same or it's going to go up and it can go up to seven too whoa easy money guys you can print money with my ideas okay here's my last idea crazy one right individual card stat re-rolling allow us to buy an item that re-rolls the individual stats on our premium cards you could charge ten dollars for one you could charge twenty dollars for one people will buy this and you will make money and the players will be happy that they're not getting ripped off <sighs> anywho yeah those are all the things that i wanted to say <sighs> i don't know man this 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 system right now 
the way that this game is going right now is kind of in shambles i'm still pretty excited for the update because i like molecule man and scorpion but this black friday has been an absolute joke and i i urgently i'm urgently urging i know that doesn't make sense but i i am seriously aggressively urging whoever is in charge at marvel future fight to seriously consider replacing large portions of your team you guys are not getting it done you guys are not cutting it i will work for free if you guys want i will work for free to try to fix this game but it's not working right now you guys are are fucking it up sorry to swear but you guys are seriously fucking it up anywho let me know what you guys think thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care